Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to show you how to take an integral of a hyperbolic function. It's a fairly straightforward function, but we did put something in there to show you how to use the very same techniques of integration that you've seen before for other functions. Of course, we have to realize that the integral of the hyperbolic cosecant is equal to the negative hyperbolic cotangent. So how do we solve this problem here? Well, we want to make it look like that. So we're going to do a substitution. We're going to let u equal the square root of x. And of course, that would be the same as saying x to the 1 half power, which means that the u dx derivative with respect to x, well, that's going to be equal to 1 half x to the minus 1 half power, which is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And then we can put the dx over there, so du is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x times dx, or dx is equal to, when we bring that up here, 2 times the square root of x times du. And so we're going to need this substitution in here, and we're going to need this substitution in our integral. Well, let's see what happens. So that means this becomes equal to the integral of the hyperbolic cosecant square instead of the square root of x we're going to plug in u and in the denominator we're going to have a u here and dx now will be replaced by two times Ooh, let's see here I don't think I want to do that because it's essentially correct but then remember that the square root of x is equal to u so this could be written as dx is equal to two times u du and that's a better substitution, so when I plug that in for dx, I get the following. I get 2u du, and then I realize that this u cancels out with this u. I can bring the 2 outside. This is equal to 2 times the integral of the hyperbolic cosecant squared of u du. And then I have to look at my guide there that tells me, well, that's the negative hyperbolic cotangent. So this is equal to 2 times the negative hyperbolic cotangent of u plus a constant of integration and then we can substitute back in since u is equal to the square root of x we can say that this is equal to minus 2 times a hyperbolic cotangent of the square root of x plus a constant of integration and that is then the integral uh, or the result I should say of the integral and that's how it's done as you can see, the rules are just the same as we would for any other integral. You just have to know the relationship between the derivatives and the integrals of the various hyperbolic functions.